Hey gang, welcome back. The next thing we're going to be talking about in dynamics is projectile motion. Okay, I've got a little funny thing here. I recorded a clip for you guys over the Christmas break. I was watching TV and uh, watching this program. You know I like to hunt and fish, and so I'm watching a hunting show, and all of a sudden the guy says something, I'm like, blah, 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 what? And I had to back it up. And I recorded it for you guys, and so you know, if you, uh, we're talking about projectile motion, the thing that I guess we mo would probably most associate that would, would be something like uh, maybe maybe a gun, right? And as the bullet comes out of the gun, you know, that's a projectile, right? Or a cannon, a ca shoot a cannonball, or maybe even if I had a, a, a bow, right, and I shot an arrow, once that arrow leaves, that's a projectile, right? So I'm going to play this clip for you right quick, and I want you to tell me, what? What did the guy say that's totally absurd? Absurd. Let's see if you can find it. The next morning in York County, Warden Rick LaFlame gets a call from a bow hunter about a missing deer. Did you find him? Dan shot at a buck last night. So they went back in this morning, they found about 75 yards of blood, and kind of had a dead end. The deer could be dead or gravely wounded. An ethical hunter will find and euthanize a seriously injured animal. I give everything I can, so. Yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, that's our duty as hunters, you know. Yep. Yeah, best thing to do. Bow hunting is not as simple as pulling a trigger on a gun. How many columns are you shooting? 70. How far was it deer? 10 yards. Oh, that's the only bad thing. 10 yards is not far enough away for shooting with a bow. An arrow needs to travel to build up speed. It doesn't build up enough kinetic energy. You know what I mean? When you're close like that, it's actually with an arrow. You, you know, when you get 15, 20, 30 yards, that's when it's building up more speed. La Flame called. What? What did that guy just say? Did he say that the arrow needs to travel 15, 20, 30 yards for it to build up speed? Is it rocket propelled? Come on, man. Y'all all know that once, if, I, if I'm shooting a gun, right, once I pull the trigger and the, the, the projectile leaves the barrel, what was accelerating the projectile? Expanding gases. Once it leaves that barrel, there is no more acceleration, right? The only thing it's doing is slowing down. It's, there's air friction and there's gravity pulling it down. That's all it's doing. It's not going to speed up. There's no way to put any more energy into it to make it speed up. Same way with a bow. Once I release the string, once the string and the arrow separate, there's nothing imparting energy into the arrow. There's no way to make it any faster. So remember when you're people out there, you guys, come on, we got to make the world a better place and get these people educated. You guys know on these, excel, these uh, projectile motion problems that the only acceleration that you're going to have on a projectile is in the negative gravity direction, okay? Stop the madness. All right, see you next time.